Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how you can create your very first app on Pay Me For My AI and start monetizing it. So once you're on the once you're on the Pay Me For My AI website, you can log in, and you will notice that uh, you will need to connect to your Stripe account first in order to get started. If you don't plan on monetizing your apps, then you can skip this part of the video. But since I am looking to monetize my app, so I will click on this connect well, connect Stripe button, and then I will pick my country. So you need to select the country where your bank account or a bank account is, so that you can get payouts sent to that bank account. Then you will notice that um, there is a pro subscription required in order to monetize. So once you have subscribed, you can just close this and then click on connect with Stripe again. And now you can select your country and this time you will be redirected to the Stripe onboarding um, workflow. So this is a pretty simple setup. You need to uh, provide some details like your uh, bank, like your email address, your phone number. So let me do this. So after that, you will be asked to enter what type of business you are running. So I can just go with individual. And then um, I will be asked to provide my legal name and a website of, uh, of mine. This could be anything like your LinkedIn, your uh, social media. I'm just going to go ahead with the website that I already own. And then finally, I will be asked to provide my bank account information. Now, this workflow may be different depending on what country you're in. In the US, for example, you can also provide your debit card, but I don't think this option is available for other countries. So this is the last step in the Stripe onboarding workflow, so I'm going to quickly do this. All right, so now I have successfully connected my Stripe account. I'm going to go ahead and create an app finally. So create an app. Um, okay, so the very first thing that I need is an image for the app. So I already downloaded an image before, and this will be like a like an app that will let you um, emojify your um, emojify basically anything. So after that, I will need to select an AI model. So I can go with um, GPT-4, GPT-3.5, or DALI-3 if, if, this, if, this, if this was for image generation, then I would have gone for DALI-3. And if you, if you, if you think that op if you are not um, getting what you want from OpenAI, uh, then you can go for an open router model. So open router model is, um, has some advantages. So once you click this link, you will be redirected to the name of the models that you can use. So for example, open router models, some of them are free to use and they don't have any moderation. So as you know, OpenAI has a lot of filtering and censorship so that um, if you're looking for something unfiltered, then you can just copy the name of the model and, um, and yeah, and just, and just uh, um, provide it here and then um, but since my app has nothing to do with uh, filtering and um, censorship, I'm just going to go ahead and pick the simple GPT 3.5. And then I will select an app theme for how I want it to look. So in this one, um, there is already um, some examples that I've provided. So for example, this is um, this is exactly what I will be creating, but I can make it look um, I can I can make it look something like this. So this is the second theme, or I can go with it with like the third theme, which is um, which is like a simple dark chat UI. So in this one, I'm going to select the last one, which is the dark chat UI, and I'm going to call this uh, Emojify. Um, Maybe emojify app, and in the description I'm going to say some some random text, and this uh, this AI emojify it. In the prompt, um, I just have it written down. So in the prompt, I'm just gonna say um, you are now bot call emojify, 
which will take text and add emojis to it. So basically modify it. And then let's just say don't return anything else with the text with the emojis added to it. And knowledge base, since I don't need any sort of custom data for this um, for this app, so I'm going to not upload anything. So if you don't want payments um, on your app at the moment, you can just disable this option. Um, but since I'm looking to monetize, so I'll go with something like, um, you know, I'll price it at $10 for every 10 chats. So it's a simple price, just pay me $10 and you get 10 chat credits in exchange. And then to give you like, to give people like a demo, I'll say that each new user gets two free chats. There, there are some advanced options over here. So if you are um, looking for a different display name, so um, for example, I am looking for the name Emojify. It's not the same as my app name, which was Emojify app. So this could be your display name if you are looking for something else. And then if you are, um, if you want to provide like a welcome message to, um, to your users, you can, you can um, just write something over here. And I'm just going to hide my creator name. Otherwise your creator name will be displayed on your app. So once you're done with this, you can simply click on create app. Um, yeah, and then congratulations, your AI app was successfully created. So I'm going to go ahead and test it now. So let's see how it works. So I'm going to say something like it's um, a rainy day in Seattle. So now let's see how it responds. So yeah, it's just emojified it basically uh, like that. And I could say something like, um, how is it going today? Let's see. Cool. So it just it just does what uh, what is expected of it. And while you're testing it, you can just refresh it because if you want to test it and you're, you've exhausted your credits, you can you'll see that in 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 the test um, in the test mode you will have like unlimited credits to test your app. You just need to refresh the page. So once you're satisfied with it, um, you can just launch it. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this and um, click on launch. And yeah, your app has been launched. So now I'm going to um, click on it. And now I can, this is live now on, on this URL. And I can buy credits for it or um, I can just uh, chat with it and yeah so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to publish it to my own website because I don't want it on my um, on uh, on this pmfm.ai domain so I'm going to go ahead and click on publish so over here I can just um, use my own subdomain so if you have a website of your own you can just um, create like a provide like a subdomain so i'm going to go ahead with emojify dot um and my own website for example is um is is this very own so i'm just going to go ahead and say emojify uh, pay me for my com. but you can you know use your own business website or your own um any website or if you don't want a subdomain you can just put like a main uh M main website as a main domain so I want it to be like a subdomain on my own website. I own this. So I'm going to click publish. And then I will see these. Uh, I will need to basically add these records to my DNS. And I've made another video. And this is a very simple change. Doesn't take more than 30 seconds. So just watch this video. But once once you're done with it, uh, once it is once it is done, you can just um, close this and and then um, load the website. And this will basically be the Emojify app on my own uh, subdomain. So I can log in and I can chat with it as I was doing that before.
And once I exhaust my credits, um, I will be prompted to um, buy credits. So I can pay for it and the money goes to the creator to get the to get the ten shot credits.